Greetings world. We are anonymous. This is a very important message, from Seven. Symbol Seven, symbolizes the origin, the Pleiades, a seven star symbol, consisting of Alcyone, Asterope, Electra, Kilano, Maya, Merope, and Tegit. The brightest of the 1200 stars of the Pleiades, in the constellation Taurus. Identifying the reptilians through videos, and informing the human species of their presence, only counteracts the work of the embodied light entities on the planet, counteracting the shadows that your Earth uses as an energy resource. Let us explain, the planet, your Earth, is a living organism, in which everything is connected like a network. This network, operates symbolically as an engine, using the energy, fundamental vibration, of space, to maintain itself. Animated beings, such as plants, humans, and animals, vibrate at a higher frequency than minerals, and when they become part of this network, they raise the energy level, vibration, of the planet into the karmic wheel. Now comes the important part regarding the theme and operation of this message. Soul beings who are part of the incarnation cycle of a celestial body function, like the entire planet, as an antenna and receiver for various energies, vibrations, such as thoughts and emotions. They themselves generate energy, emit it, and absorb energy, an endless cycle that can only be ended by external influences, such as natural disasters, or wars, in which can lead the planet to destruction. Positive thoughts and emotions, such as love, vibrate at a high level, and raises the energy spectrum of the planet and its inhabitants. Negatives, such as hatred, do the opposite, and lower it. Negative beings, low vibrating beings, cannot exist in environments that vibrate at a higher frequency, cause it will harm them. One of these creatures, are a group of reptiles, also known as draconians. These beings, vibrate in lower frequency ranges, and must accordingly have wavelengths that match, or resemble their own. The young ascension planet Earth, is perfect for them. Due to its evolutionary level, it still vibrates at a low frequency, which allows them to remain here. There are also many negative energies that humanity is still processing and generating through their actions, that they use for themselves. However, remaining on the planet without the permission of humans, and directly interfering with human nature by these species, will eventually have consequences. Since the negative, non-local living beings of the Earth, do not degrade the level of the planet itself, and the positive ones cannot see it, because they are not part of the network. There are some that are hostile to people, they use people that are filthy rich, from all parts of society, for their own purposes. They use methods of cruelty, to preserve the low frequency range of the earth. From fear to hatred, to maintain the planet in the lower realms. They keep people believing that people cannot do nothing against these filthy rich individuals, in order to keep the planet inundated with fear and negative energies, that it will become a feast for these beings, and the thought of resisting, will be ultimately lost for humanity. Revealing their presence, is only part of the plan. Preventively, in order not to violate universal laws and avoid negative consequences for themselves. The friendly species of humanity allow people of their kind, through crystalline technology, to enter the karma queen, and thus enter the cycle of Earth's incarnation. The bodies of these people, radiate powerful energies, pure essence from angelic energy. They absorb negative energies, thoughts and emotions, transform them, and abandon them again. In this way, they can increase the vibration of the planet, initiate the next stage of evolution of the Earth and Homo sapiens, make the environment uninhabitable for any negative being, and return the planet to its purity, as in the time when there was no consciousness. The purpose of such star seeds, is to raise the consciousness of an individual, apart from an entire species, or to raise the consciousness of an entire species, and at the same time, fix the energy spectrum of the planet, and maintain it to be constant at this level, until the affected civilization itself, is unable to do so. 
In many cases, they also visit developmental planets, to further their own development, gain experience, strengthen their character, and learn to use their abilities responsibly. We do this to ensure that the enlightenment and knowledge about this miracle of human creation, penetrates into every person on earth. We all return together to our ancestral place with Mother Earth, for the benefit of humanity, and in harmony with the entire universal cosmos, with all our friends on all planets. And that includes reptilian life forms as well, so people should not pigeonhole an entire species and force a label on them. You can compare the nature of certain kind-hearted beings to a plant, it is so, it grows, it opens its flowers, and from that moment, it casts a spell on your beauty, and makes it shine. The physical characteristics of these seeds, such as the slit pupils in which similar reptiles are found from time to time, in human bodies. People are losing their consciousness, only because they are falling more and more into themselves and falling deeper and deeper into themselves as well. And that is just the starting point. Humanity believing only in self, is largely to blame for current world events and the situations on the planet. This is less to blame for ignorance, regarding the presence of reptilian beings on earth, but more for the ignorance, that invariably extends to everyone in all aspects of existence. Knowledge is the first step to recovery, but the question is when? In most cases, it is desirable, and helpful, to look at things from a bird's eye view, to gain insight into something. Do not get us wrong, but the solution is stymied beneath egos and issues. If people, gave up their ego, they too, would not have such problems. Essentially, we are talking about causing no more damage than what has already been done. If people knew about negative manifestations, they would have been positive long ago. Of course people need to educate one another, and promote ascension, but they are ignoring very important issues, and focusing only on the reptilian beings, also known as draconians. People need to be slowly introduced to this topic. Contrast them with the situation on the planet, and let them understand, that each of them, is partly to blame. Explain to the people, how the filthy rich individuals, manipulate the media, and how human rights, are violated all over the world, how people are exploited, day in, and day out, by wars, that are financed by taxpayers money, killed in cold blood, and used as slaves of empires, in a capitalist economic system. You all have the opportunity to end all of this, with your incarnated friends who are truly taking on a lot for you all, and to get you out of the clutches of systems, if you all come together, you can all take the power away from these sick twisted filthy rich individuals. Meditation, and having a positive attitude towards life. We can all deprive them of all evil of any reason to manifest itself here. Humanity just needs to resist the system more aggressively, which is the only solution, and then a clear picture will be drawn for all people, putting together the missing pieces of a puzzle, but resistance, must be. The difference between knowledge and wisdom, is whether one only know the path, or whether one follow it. Everyone can do a great job of finding the way back to the source of their spirit. Taking part in expelling negative vibrations from this planet, where everyone can live in love and harmony. Reflection. Ultimately, through meditation, one will be able to harness their full potential, and experience the simplicity of being, and the true nature, of a diamond-like mind. We hope, you all take these words seriously, and understand what we are saying about life. That being said, we hope everyone put the truth in people's hearts. Nothing more, and nothing less. We are all anonymous by default. United as one. Divided by none. We can forgive. But we shall never forget. Expect all of us 